Hello everyone, this topic will cover on topic 3, fuzzy set. These are the outline of the topic. Let us first recap on differences between crease logic and fuzzy logic. Unlike two boolean, two valued boolean logic, fuzzy logic is multi-valued. It deals with degree of membership and degree of truth. Fuzzy logic uses the continuum of logical value between zero, completely false, and one, completely true. Another example is instead of just black and white in set, it employs or fuzzy employs the spectrum of colors, accepting that the things can be partly true and partly false at the same time. Then we need to recap on the basic term of our fuzzy graph here. We have two axes, x axis and also y axis. X axis represent the universe of discourse of a variable, or we can say this as the range of variable. Well, Y axis is the degree of membership or the degree of truth from completely true and completely false. First subtopic to be covered will be on classical logic or we can also say this as Krebs logic. What is classical logic? Classical set theory imposes a sharp boundaries on this set, for example, and give each member of the set the value of 1 and all members that are not within the set a value of 0. Let's say we have a membership function fa here, where a is a set. x here is the universal set. fa is the function from x to 0 and 1, where x here, the small or the small letter x is the element in A. If, okay, x is an element in A, if x is an element in A, then the function will return 1. If x here is not the element in A, then the function will return 0. We will we will see a clear example on Chris set here. So we have universal set X, universal set X here, with value from 150 up till 200. Then we have set A here, with these three values that are 180, 190, and 200. If we use the membership function FA, to find the value of small x here, that is 180, what will it return? So based on our discussion previously, since A or 180 is an element of A, then the value is 1. What about 150 now? Since x here is 150 and it is not the element of A, then it will return 0. Then what about 190 here? 190 is an element of A, then it will return to 1. So I hope you have understand the concept of Chris set.